the summer holidays is about to hit. You know what it's like when you see multiple brands bring out new things and you look at them, you like to look at them, you maybe take a screenshot or two or a hundred and save them in one of them places in a folder where you think I will get that eventually and then you forget about it. That happens a lot for me but when I saw this I snatched this baby up. Welcome back to my channel guys, thanks for stopping by. I don't have the time to do my hair today, I need to get this video uploaded and done and dusted. Everyone and their mama is reviewing this and why shouldn't they? She is a beautiful palette. I have a lot to say about this palette, I do. It means so much to me if you hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, don't forget. So um, yes, if you are new to my channel, I'm an older mature lady, I'm not your typical really young YouTuber, although I might try and act like I'm young. I love beauty, I love makeup and I love experimenting with colours and I'm also recently gone freelance as a makeup artist and that's one of the reasons I haven't been uploading as often as I used to do. So I am very envious and jealous of all of my lovely YouTube friends who are uploading very consistently, very regularly and I just don't have the time or the money to just continuously to do that. So I've said it before in previous videos, I will try and upload as often as I can. Also we have a lot of going on in the background. We have kids outside playing in the pool, on the trampoline, neighbours kids. Also, guys, the summer holidays is about to hit. That's another video in itself. I might do some summer holiday vlogs with the kids. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below if you maybe would be um, interested to see some summer holiday vlogs of what we get up to in the summer holidays. Um, if, if you're like me and you dread the six weeks holidays, ours is about to start and you basically need like a month to build yourself up to get ready for the stress which is about to occur. I mean the older two, the older two are probably the ones who give me the most grief because they're 15 and um, almost about to be 16 and almost about to be 14 and they just are like I'm bored, I'm bored all over here. So yeah, we have to get ourselves into gear and see what we can come up with in the summer holidays to keep them entertained. It's all about keeping them entertained. It's so hard. So um, Anastasia Norvina palette. What can I say? The first thing I'd like to say is that this look I'm wearing right now is probably the most favorite look I've created so far using the palette. Um, I'll do a few swatches. I'm not going to swatch all the colours. There's plenty of videos. Like I said, everyone and their mama has reviewing, is, is reviewing this baby at the moment. So, um, I got mine on the day it released on the Anastasia website. Um, it shipped from Brussels, I believe. And it came within three to four days, I think it was. So, not too bad. But because I was creating multiple looks for you guys, I couldn't get the video uploaded until today. So, it will be going up today. Um, so the issues I had with it, Anastasia palettes, as you all know, are are renowned for their kick up in their palettes. So it still had that. Um, that doesn't really tend to bother me. It just means you have to go in with an easier hand and you don't have to go in like this with certain palettes such as this kind of thing. It, it did have that also found some of the colours I went into were quite crumbly um, especially I think it was the shimmers yeah so the shimmers I did find were quite crumbly once you put the brush in dreamer uh, rose gold um, some are they tend to crumble up a little bit as you put the brush in um, also the pigmentation I found on the shimmers with wild child and celestial I definitely had to use my brush wet so yeah I definitely had to use my brush wet um, which I was kind of surprised I don't know why the only Anastasia palette I've ever owned is the modern renaissance palette and I sold it it was very hyped up I got it and I was like mm, I, I don't really play with it that often I didn't use it often enough and that was before um, I trained to be a makeup artist so I, sh I probably should have kept it in the long run but that was the only palette I had. I liked the formula on it. 
it's similar to this um, but I can't remember how well the shimmers worked in the palette with this I was kind of disappointed I was also kind of disappointed when I received the palette so it looked stunning oh my god seriously seriously it looks stunning on um, social media and I do think it's a pretty palette still but when I opened it up my initial reaction wasn't like oh it was like oh that's pretty and that's it I definitely feel it's not a regret buy I do like the palette I think the mattes work extremely well. I wasn't disappointed with any of the mattes. I loved Incense and Eccentric. I think they are quite um, versatile colours. I'm so sorry if you can hear some kind of machinery outside. So um, obviously Sol, the lavender colour, which is what I'm wearing in the crease, is a beautiful colour. The first look I did I think I messed it up with the colour choices I chose for the look. So yeah, the mattes worked really well. I didn't have any issues with them. Yes, there was kick up, but it didn't really bother me. Um, but the shimmers, I was just slightly disappointed that I had to wet my brush um, or use my finger. But it wasn't enough to make me like, it's a regret buy, it was a waste of money. It was, it's definitely not a waste of money. I'll still use the palette. Um, I'm not sure how often. The only other thing was for transition shades, obviously it has the base colour, the lightest matte in the pan, which is like the perfect colour to use to set your concealer. Um, but for the four looks that I created, I feel like, let me see, I felt like I was limited to what to use as a transition shade for some reason because I wouldn't use base, that was just to set the concealer. So Incense and Love, for me, is the only two that I would use to go in first. So I don't know if I'm being fussy or being OTT about my opinion on it, but with my other palettes, let's just see. Yeah, so with my Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Palette, I could use any of these three, four, definitely these four, easily. Where is that one? If you're limited, for me, I was limited to two. So, um, I want to swatch Celestial real quick, which is the nice purple I've got on my lid. I'm going to do that right there for you. So it swatches nicely. It's a little bit more sheer to what I thought it was going to be. And then Wild Child again. I'm going to probably cut out the noise. Both of those colours I expected to have more pigmentation on them. I thought they were going to be like really um, like rose gold is going to be. Um, so this is the, obviously the rose gold, which is, seems to be the most shimmery um, in the palette, which is a beautiful colour. Right. So with this one, the rose gold, did I have to spray my brush? I can't remember. You'll have to watch the video to see if I sprayed my brush. But I was so intrigued with the Soul palette because the new, the, the ColourPop Soul, was Sol, the ColourPop Sol palette. Um, I had a colour which is very similar and I'm just about to see now whether these two are the same. Right, so ignore these. So this one is the Anastasia, right there. And then on my ring finger is the Colourpop. They look very similar. Okay, let's swatch them together. So we've got Anastasia. Uh, how am I, I, want, I want you guys to see this as I'm doing it. So we've got Anastasia first, which I already swatched here, and then we have Colourpop next to it. Oh, right. So they are different. Okay, okay. Just making sure. Well, that is surprising. I thought they were going to be like almost exactly the same, but they're not. Okay, that's put my mind at rest. So if he wasn't aware of the price, I paid £43 for mine. I think in the States it's $44 or $43. 
so that seems a little bit unfair to me I think this should be at least 38 pounds rather than the same price in the dollar equivalent so that's really everything I can say about the palette um it's nice I probably rate it hmm, I would still give this palette 7 out of 10 being honest because the colors are very pretty um I love I love the mattes in it the shimmers are nice you do have to spray your brush and wet it or use your finger um would I say it's a must-have um if you have the Huda Desert Dusk I wouldn't even get this I put I personally wouldn't get this one just because it hasn't blown me away I haven't gave it a 10 out of 10 um uh, I would say it's worth getting if you haven't got an Anastasia palette before I still think you'll have some fun playing with this palette uh it's not a boring palette I think I'm probably sounding like I'm completely disappointed with it and I'm not. I'm not I'm just trying to give, I'm just trying to give you guys my thorough honest opinion on it because that's what I do. I've done four looks all together guys for your benefit. I kept it to four because if you try and do too many I think they can end up looking very similar and repetitive and I didn't want to do that so I done as um I tried to make it as different as possible with each look so i hope you enjoyed this video guys i hope you enjoyed my honest review on the norvina it's a nice palette i give it a 7 out of 10 maybe a 6.5 out of 10 i love this look it's a pretty palette i'm not mad at it i'm not mad i am happy with it i think this is a really nice look i did i really am digging that look i love the soul color i think that's very unique I mean, if anything, if you're just a makeup hoarder and you love playing with makeup, you'll probably get the palette anyway just because of that colour. And that colour does perform very well. So did Love. Love performed really beautifully. So yeah, I'm going to bump it up to a straight up 7 out of 10 now. Straight up 7 out of 10, definitely. Let's leave it right there. I'm going to go straight into the first look that I created and then continue on with the other three looks including this one which is my favorite right so now i'm gonna go get my finish off doing my hair and getting on with everything and i will see you soon with another video don't forget to subscribe hit the like button give it a thumbs up and i'll see you soon with another video so this first look i'm going to show you is going to be probably a more of a glam look so i'm using the um, bh cosmetics number 12 brush so this base color is literally the, the best color that we are trying to not go too slow with doing this i really want to start with doing something with this dark drama colour and then the matte underneath it looks like it would really complement the colour as well. I'm going to start off by putting passion in the crease area. Oh and these are pigmented, oh I like it. And I'm just winging it out slightly. I'll use this Coastal Scents just to lightly blend up. Let's change brushes. Let's try the BH Cosmetics one which I originally... So definitely pigmented because that line doesn't want to budge. I'm going to take it slightly higher as well, I think. Yeah, really, really pigmented. Right. To get them to blend in without showing any harsh lines. But we're going to get there. We are going to get there. I'm just going to do one eye on camera and then go off and do the other eye. I'm going to use the Morphe M124 packing brush and go in with the Drama, which is the shimmer at the top, this one here. I'm going to go on the outside. It looks, it definitely 
blends in with the passion color like you can't even tell there's a difference but there we go we are going to liven this look up getting a little bit of fallout but that's because of my heavy hair I'm just going to quickly cut the crease and I'm loving this little BH Cosmetics number 9 brush to do my creases lately. To about there I'd say, let's see, yeah, that's perfect. The crease is now cut and then what I like to do is get my pinky and just blend that in to the outside corner so it doesn't look too crazy and now I'm going to try using this beautiful soul colour which is like it has a slight shimmer to it so I'm not sure how this is going to go but let's just see what happens oh wow it's gorgeous what an unusual colour I've seen so many looks created so far with this, some better than others, but this for some reason was calling my name for the first instance, like I'm going to be trying several looks with this palette, so we will learn, mm, I'm not sure if I'm liking this. It's a beautiful colour, but did I match the right colours? I just definitely wanted to see how that soul would look on the eye. I've been dying to try that out. And then um, with this same flat brush, I'm going to go underneath, just on the inner corner of the lower lash line. The rest of the lower lash line I'll go back in with passion and just run it along. I'm going to see how it, we go with Wild Child on the inner corner here and then also try and go over the first part of Soul in the inner corner. Let's see how that looks. I'm not sure how this is going to go. So start off here just in the first instance and then drag it down into the inner corner. But I like that, it blends in nicely with the look. I would definitely recommend doing your eyes first when using this palette because yeah, a lot of fallout. On the top, wipe that off, I'm gonna go in with Dreamer on the brow bone. Oh, that's beautiful. Gorgeous. I'm just gonna quickly clean up the mess under my eye and then finish the other eye off camera and I'll be back in a second. So this is the first look that I have created using the um, Norvina palette. And I have to say, I'm not completely happy with my color choices I used. I definitely will be um, including about three more versatile looks. There'll be some um, daytime options in there and obviously a little bit more full on like this one. But yeah, that's gonna... This is the first look and it is pretty OTT. It's, it's a new palette, I'm working with it, I'm playing with it. I'm still figuring out what is gonna um, work and what's not gonna work. Okay guys, so this second look I'm doing is definitely going to be a voiceover. So sorry if I've disappointed you. So I start this one, I already used base on the all over the lid and then I used Dreamer on the brow bone. Wow, I'm going super fast. I then decide to go in the crease with Love with a pencil brush. And I have to say I'm in love with that colour. It's a beautiful colour. I love it in the crease. And I didn't find it was hard to blend out this time once I got it in there and started fluffing it in with a fluffy brush. It was totally fine. No issues there at all. So then once I um, blended that into the crease, I go in with incense, I believe, just to give it a little bit more warmth all over. Um, just to add more colour to the eye, basically. And incense is a really nice 
warm colour to add in there. And I think they complemented each other really well. Incense and love. Just love the way that looked. So this is definitely more of a natural daytime look. So on the lid, I go in with Wild Child, the um, shimmer pastel pink colour. I had to go in and spray my brush to get the intensity I wanted, um, which it, I, it doesn't bother me. It might bother some other people, but for me, it doesn't bother me. And then on the outer corner, I go in with Volatile just to give me a little bit more um, of an intense, deeper look. Um, you probably could skip this part if you was going to just do a quick daytime look, but you know me. And then I go on the lower lash line with that same, um, I think it was incense I used. Then I used the eyelash curler and quickly just applied some mascara from Stila, best mascara ever. And that's it, that's the second look completed. I actually really like this look, it's really natural, nice for during the day. So let's move on to the next one. So guys, here comes round three, I think we're on. And once again, I'm starting off with the color base in the palette, and then I'm gonna go in with Eccentric all in the crease, building that color up more and more, and building it up to it goes in the crease and then slightly above as well, but not all the way to the top. And I'm not having any issues working with the colors in the palette. All seems to be working well at the moment. And then once I finish blending that color in, I go in with um, Volatile as the deepest color I'll be using um, on this final look. Oh no, it's not going to be the final look. I have one more look to show you. And I basically place that color on the outer corner and inner corner of the lid and also slightly into the crease as well and just really intensifying the whole look. This look is definitely supposed to be a more of a evening glam look. Um, Unless you obviously like to wear your makeup this heavy during the day. But for me, no. This is definitely more of a glam going out look. So those are the only mattes I use. And then I go in with rose gold. Um, didn't get a lot of colour payoff from this sh shimmer metallic colour. I did have to end up spraying my brush once again. And it did make a difference. It doesn't really bother me too much. But I'm actually going to compare the rose gold to the other um, similar colour in my new Soul palette by Colourpop. They look very similar. On the inner corner of the eye, I'm going, not all the way on the inner corner, but almost to the inner. I'm going in with Dreamer, which is the highlighter shade I used on my brow bone. And then I just finish off with some liquid eyeliner. This is my Stila liquid eyeliner pen almost running out of that so I'll have to be replacing that soon and then on the lower lash line I go in um, I think it's passion yes passion on the lower lash line and then I just um, smoke it out a little bit more and then go in with dreamer again on the brow bone as it's the only shade I would probably use and on the inner corner, I go in with, um, I think it's Summer, which is the gold colour. I really liked using that on the inner corner. I think that looked really um, good. It just brought out the colours even more. Then finishing off with some liner on the bottom lower lash line. And then mascara. And that is the completed look for number three. So this is another evening look for me. I hope you like the looks I'm creating for you guys using the palette. And I'll be back in a second with the final look. So saving the best till last, guys. This is round four. And if you've made it this far, I really appreciate you watching. I'm going in starting with love um, as my transition color this time. But I do make it slightly deeper in the crease area. And I just still love this color. It's the perfect word for it. And then um, what I'm going to do is go in with Soul next and create like a quite an intense harsh line in the crease. That's going to be the main showstopper of this look. And then I'm just basically building that colour up as much as I can and then blending the two colours together, Love and Soul, with a fluffy brush. 
And then just basically go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye, building that color up into the crease and just basically making it look the same or try and make it look the same as the other eye. But yes, the, that color soul is gorgeous. I knew I had to use that again in this final look and it is my favorite look so far. On the lid, I put some concealer in as a base before I lay down the final color, which is going to be Celestial, um, which is that gorgeous light lavender, uh, lavender, like a lilac-y purple color. And as you can guess, I had to spray my brush again to get the intensity I wanted. Um, I don't know if I actually showed that on camera though, but yeah, I, I know I sprayed my brush to build up that color. And actually, they went really well together. And I'm just going back in with Soul to deepen up the crease area. And then with Incense, just to add more warmth, basically, to the whole look. And then underneath, I put Drama, which I thought was a great choice for the lower lash line. And then um, Dreamer for the brow bone. I'm basically getting to know all the names of these colors off by heart by the time I finish this look. Going in with mascara and then I do put some lashes on at the end of the look. And I think I used Dreamer on the inner corner as well. Yes, I did. And that is the final look, guys. That is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time with another video.